Welcome back to the Tech Shack to another low quality video. Now I noticed the internet in the house was running a little bit slow in the last 48 hours. And then once I got out here and rebooted everything, rebooted the house, I'm still only getting about 45 megabit a second. And we are connected directly to the CPE. That feeds the house. We should be getting like two to 300 megabit, 300 plus. We're maybe getting 50 megabit. All right, now that's after replacing the cable um, between the switch and the power injector and actually replacing the power injector in general because I've actually seen power injectors that are going faulty cause issues like this. So that only leaves the cable on the ground. And to confirm that, I set up another PoE injector and another cable. <clears throat> I'm gonna switch it with this one that's running out the door temporarily from the main switch. Same switch the other one's connected to. Pour it right beside it. We're going to... Wait for this guy to come back up. One eternity later. So we are reconnected back to bridge. Yep. So we have a bad cable on the ground. Which is kind of funny because I have a bunch of cables throughout the property for other buildings that are buried to CPEs and stuff that are actually indoor rated Cat 5E. And they've been doing fine for years at Gigabit. I'm negotiating a Gigabit. They don't have packet loss. And this is a Cat 6 outdoor rated cable with this heavy outdoor connector. And it went bad. Now, to be fair, I think it was the cats because when it was here, it was tight against the wall. And when I moved it to this pole, when I tried to deploy that other CPE, that was an absolute fail. Go check out that video if you haven't already. Um, I had to get some more slack for this cable. So underneath the building, it's no longer secured tight. And I have some cats on the property, our cats, but they like to go underneath this building a lot. So I think one of them probably got into this cable and destroyed it. So now, or damaged it in some way. So now we're gonna have to trench a new cable between here and there, and I'm not gonna, this is actually the right size. I could go the easy way and just trench it in here and let that go until this one dies. But uh, then it wouldn't be a video worthy. So we're gonna do things somewhat correctly. Now, unfortunately, the only bulk um, cable I have is indoor. All right, so this is outdoor 6A, while it does have a downgraded connector compared to the 6 cable, that's Cat 6 cable is buried now. They're both direct burial, and this one is 6A, so it has the spine. So this should be great for what we need it for. It is way too long, so we're gonna leave one end with this molded connector on that connects to the CPE, and the end that goes in the house is the end we're gonna cut. Now we're not gonna use a crimper and crimp out a new end. I do have a crimper and a whole bunch of these guys here, these pass-through crimps. But instead, we're going to use this. We're going to use this kind of like a makeshift patch panel. All right, now, these guys, it's like eight bucks for 25 pack of these. So if you are good, with a 3D printer, you can make yourself a patch panel for a couple pennies per slot. But, all right, let's get the, the trench in, get it cut, and then we'll terminate this end inside. Well, the cable is in and completely trenched and secured all the way up through. I still have this guy temporarily running so the house still has the internet while we work on everything. So it comes in. Right, on, right here and up alongside the Starlink cable. Now this hole was already oversized. It was just filled with spray foam because I ran the factory Starlink cable through there. There weren't any aftermarket options like uh, two and a half years ago when we buried that cable. So the hole was severely oversized and then spilled, filled with spray foam. So then when I ran this new one alongside it, I sealed it all up with uh, Gorilla, the Gorilla Glue wood filler and I went and filled the other hole on the other side of the building where the old cable went in so it's all sealed back up. All good to go, so now all we have to do is go terminate the other end of the cable, test. All 
right, so the cable is all good. Use this little punch down thing to put each cable in the channels and they're all labeled on the side. Now, when you're doing something like this and you're connecting a uh, molded end and then you're patching in this end, if you wanna be sure, double check what wiring scheme they use. If you just connect the first two pins and then double check that that correlates to pin one and two with the tester before you continue on the rest. That way you know for sure that you're using the uh, right standard when you terminate these ends. But all right, now let's get this thing all uh, like secured back. All right, so I got everything put back together on the uh, switch shelf. This cable here is a little too long going from this part on the gigabit switch. And the PoE injector, I got another one of these blue ones, a whole bunch of these blue ones left over from a job somewhere. I just don't know where they are right now, but I want to get everything back up and running and I'll swap that cable out later. So it goes from the gigabit switch to the PoE injector, then from the PoE injector to that new keystone jack to that new um, cable we just made outside to the CPE. Now let's go out and connect to the CPE and see if uh, we're getting the full speed of the Starlink now. All right, everything is reconnected. We got a little bit of a service loop there because the cable is a little bit longer than I'd like, but it is still at least the outdoor rated direct burial cable. Everything is all sealed up. Everything in the house has been rebooted and connected to it. So the house, it might run a little bit slower than earlier because everybody in the house is home and now on the network that's connected to this, but we are connected directly to the CPE and we will see if this was all for nothing. Which, uh, see, the router is giving it more bandwidth as I'm asking for more because the house is busy. So it's taking a little bit longer to ramp up, but yeah, well over 250 megabits. So I would say mission accomplished. Plus everything looks a lot neater where it comes in now. But that is it for this low quality video. I will see you guys in the next one.